What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the mean, median, mode, and range of a set of numbers, okay? And I'm also going to teach you some helpful little tricks that you can use to remember what each one is. All right, so here's my set of numbers. The first thing I like to do is I like to list my numbers right here from least to greatest, okay? And that's because it's going to be really helpful for a couple of the problems we have to do. So let's list these. So it looks like my smallest number right here is going to be 6. Okay, so we'll put 6. And then after that, it looks like we have a 9 here and we have a 9 here. So it looks like we got a couple 9s. So we'll list those also. Then after that, it looks like we have an 11. And then we got a 12 and a 13. 12, 13. And lastly, it looks like we got a 15 right there. Okay, now, out of the four things we're going to find, the mean, median, mode, and range, the mean takes the most work, okay? So finding the median, mode, and range is actually pretty easy. So how do you find the mean of a set of numbers? It's the same thing as finding the average, okay? Mean is just another word for average. So how do you find the average number of a set of numbers? Okay, well, all you have to do is add all these numbers up together. You'll get a total, right? And then you divide that total by however many numbers you have here. So how many numbers do we have here? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? So we're going to get a total, and then we're going to divide that total by 7. So let me show you what that would look like. So if we're trying to find the mean of a set of numbers, remember this is another word for average. So all we're going to do is add these up. So we're going to do 6 plus 9 plus 9 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 15. And then we're going to divide this whole thing by however many numbers we have here. And like we said, we have seven numbers, right? So let's simplify this. Now, if you have a calculator, you can obviously use it to add all these numbers up. Here, I'm just going to tell you the total though. So if we add all these numbers up, we would get 75, okay? So, we're good. so our total is 75, and we're going to divide that by 7. Okay, so we have 75 divided by 7. Okay, so I'm going to do 75 divided by 7. Okay, so 7 goes into 7 one time, and then 1 times 7 is 7. You subtract, and you just get 0 right there, right? And then we'll bring this 5 down. Now, 7 goes into 5 zero times, right, because it doesn't fit into five, and then zero times seven is zero. And then we would subtract right here, so then five minus zero is just five. And then I'm going to put a decimal right here, right, because decimals always come at the end of your whole numbers. And then I'll put a zero right there, and then I'll bring this zero down. Okay, now seven goes into 50 seven times. Then seven times seven is 49. You subtract right here, and you get 1. And again, I don't have anything here, so I'll put another 0 and bring that straight down. And so this is 10 down here. And then 7 goes into 10 one time. Okay, and then I'm going to stop there because, let's see. So the last thing I have to do is put my decimal in my answer, right? So your decimal's here, so you just bring it straight up right there. Okay, so we're just going to go to two decimal places. Okay, so if we go back to our original problem over here, the mean, or in other words, the average of this whole set of numbers over here is equal to approximately 10.71. Okay, so that would be your answer. Okay, so the next thing we have to find is the median. Okay, what is the median? Well, the median is just the middle number in your set of numbers. Okay, so a way you can remember median is that it sounds like medium, right, or middle. Those are two words you can think of when you think of median. It kind of sounds like medium or middle. So you're trying to find the medium or middle number here. Now, the first thing you have to do is place all these numbers in order from least to greatest. And we already did that from the very beginning, okay? So that step is already done, all right? Now, the second step would be to cross numbers off and basically work your way towards the middle. So let me show you. So you're going to cross the first one 
and the last one. And then you're just going to keep going this one, this one, this one, this one. And so it looks like 11 is in the middle, right? So what is the median here? It would just be 11, okay? And that would be your answer. Now, one other example I want to show you with the median is we have an odd number of numbers listed here, right? We have seven numbers. But what happens when you have an even set of numbers? Okay, so let me just take out one of these numbers. Let's just take out the six, okay? So now you can see I have an even set of numbers, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when you have an even set of numbers and you're trying to find the median, you still follow the same process, okay? So we're gonna cross off the first one and the last one, and then just keep going towards the middle. So cross this one off, then this one. But then here you can see, oh, well, I have two numbers left, okay? So which one is the median? Is it the 11 or the 12? So whenever you have a case like this, you actually have to find the average or the mean of these two numbers. And remember, in order to find the average, all you have to do is add these numbers up. So 11 plus 12. And then you have to divide that by however many numbers you have here. So we have 1, 2, okay? 2. Right? So we're not trying to find the average of all of these numbers. We're only trying to find the average of 11 and 12. Okay, so then you would just solve for this. So 11 plus 12 is equal to 23, and then that's over 2, right? So we have 23 divided by 2. So you just have to solve that. 23 divided by 2. So then 2 goes into 2 one time, and then 1 times 2 is 2. You subtract there, 2 minus 2 is 0, and then you just bring down the 3. So then 2 goes into 3 one time, and then 1 times 2 is 2. You subtract, and you get 1. And then remember, your decimal is right there, okay? And then we'll put a 0. So then just bring the 0 down. And then 2 goes into 10 five times, right? And then 5 times 2 is 10. You subtract, 10 minus 10 gives you a 0 remainder. Okay, and then the last thing you have to do is just put the decimal in your answer. So your decimal is right here. So you just bring it straight up right there. So your answer right here is 11.5. Okay, so the median of this set of numbers would be 11.5. Okay, because 11.5 is the average or the mean of 11 and 12. So remember, it sounds like medium and middle. So you're just trying to find the middle number here. Okay, now let's move on to mode. Okay, so now we have mode. So what does mode mean? So mode is just the number that pops up most often. Now, the way I would always like to remember mode is by M-O-D, which stands for most occurring digit. Okay, M-O-D, M-O-D, most occurring digit. So you're just trying to find the most occurring digit. So let's see, we have 6, 9, 9, 11, 12, 13, 15. So it looks like it'd be 9, right? Because we have two 9s. So the mode for this set of numbers would just be 9. Now, what if I added an extra number here? What if I put another 15? Okay, well then, here I have two 9s, and then I'd have two 15s. So which one is the mode? Well, in this case, they would both be the mode, okay? So your answer would be 9 and... 15. Okay, so not too bad, right? Now let's just do range. Okay, so range. What is range? Well, your range is simply your biggest number minus the smallest number. So in this example, your biggest number is over here at the end, 15, right? And then you just subtract the smallest number, which is right here, 6. So what's 15 minus 6? 9. Okay, so your range right here would just be 9. All right, guys, so that is how you find the mean, median, mode, and range of a set of numbers. So I hope the examples were helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have any other questions, leave them in the comments section below. And I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's also a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out. And I'll see you there.